Normal surface appears as an approach to straight lines, ideal circles, round holes, and other edges, and surfaces that are geometrically perfect. Actual surfaces of the part are my body manufacturing processes used to make them. When highly magnified, the surface is anything but straight and smooth. The topography and the geometric features of the surface has a roughness, waveness, and the flows. It also possesses a pattern and all direction resulting from the mechanical process that produces it. The roughness is a small, finely spaced deviation from the nominal surface. The waveness is a deviation of much larger spacing. The lay is a broad dominated direction or pattern of the surface texture. The flows is irregularities that occur occasionally on the surface, include the cracks, scratches, inclusions, and similar defects on the surface. In industry, you will deal with the imported terms like the surface roughness and the surface finish. Where related guides and the tools are available in every workshop to check the surface quality. The surface roughness can be defined as a measurable characteristics based on the roughness deviations. The surface finishing is a more subjective term donating the smoothness and the general quality of the surface. The surface integrity is the study and the control of the metrological changes in the altered layer beneath the surface and the changes in it that occurs during the processing which may influence the performance of the finished part of the product. Surface roughness and the surface finish samples can be found in every engineering drawings. The surface changes are caused by the application of various forms of the energy during the processing. For example, the mechanical energy is the most common form in manufacturing. The process include the forging, the extrusion, and the machining. For the measurement of the surfaces, we have two parameters of interest. First, the surface texture which is the geometry of the surface, commonly measured as a surface roughness. And we have the surface integrity, which deals with the material characteristic immediately beneath the surface and the changes to these surfaces that resulted from the processes created it, as we mentioned earlier. We have three methods to measure the surface roughness. First, we're using this objective comparison with the standard test surfaces. And the main example for that is the fingernail test. Also, we have the stylus electronic instruments and we have the optical techniques. The surface quality is directly related to the manufacturing processes, where some processes are inherently capable of using better surfaces than the others. In general, to obtain an increase in better surfaces, the processing cost is going to increase. The processes noted for providing a superior finishing, including the hopping, the lapping, the polishing, and the super finishing. As an engineer, you have to select the proper manufacturing processes that produce the better service finishing or the other uh, service uh, treatment processes that is going to produce the better service finishing.